Hey, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, blue spiny shells. No, there's just one right in front of me. Welcome to another Pokemon. I was about to say X and Y. Black and white Wi-Fi battle. Wait, what? The servers are down. How? Did you... I actually recorded a few, recorded a few battles before the servers went down, so it's all all good. This isn't my battle. You can probably see Nephlims or something. I recorded like about 20 videos from 4th and 5th gen. Um, more 5th gen because it was easier than 4th gen because if I had to record 4th gen, I had to change my router settings and all that other crap. And I don't want to make my vi my internet crappy ass just to um, record videos. So anyway, let's begin the battle, where uh, I, I, I don't know how the battle goes, so I'm just as empty as you, so I'm going to just narrate this. So he's going to use the taunt magic, oh, by the way, I I, I don't remember, I'll, I'll continue though, but so, um, what's happening, ooh, this guy's stuffed, so he's going to use the rock slide, rock slide on that Natu, oh yes, now I remember, I'm as blank as you, I have no idea what the hell's going to go on in this battle, so. Hopefully this is enjoyable. I don't know if it's enjoyable. So, I believe it's 5-5 five five here. Conqueror takes out his Pokemon. He sends out an Ambi Palm, uses the Fake Out, which is a good play here. Gets a bit of damage and he's run... Oh, Acrobatics. Interesting combination there. It works very well. And... He takes out the Conqueror. Oh, nice play, Ambi Palm. That was a very good move right there. So next he's going to send out Sableye. He's probably going to use the... Oh, okay. I was predicting the... Um, will o -Wisp, but he's used the, um, the, uh, top seek. If he did will o -Wisp, that would have been bad for that Ambipomp, but no, 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 it's all good for the Ambipomp. So next, he's going to see there his Sizzle, he's going to use the Taunt, I guess predicting the Swords Dance. Oh, great prediction there. So, and he's going to will o -Wisp to boot. And that, that Sizzle is practically stuffed. It is useless now throughout the battle. And it's holding life orb. I guess it's not that bad. Life orb does help out, but um, yeah. Look, look bullet punch doesn't take it out. I just remember. I know that Sableye didn't die. He had like a little red health while I was editing. So yeah, that's how I know. I I did see glimpses of the glimpses of the video, but not the whole video. So um, is he's um going to use the taunt again, predicting that uh thing. I don't know what the hell he's predicting. So next he's going to send out his Manetric to predict that bullet punch, very, fairly obvious there. And his Sissel's going to go down from the burn, unfortunately, but yes, it, that happens. So next he's going to send out his Blissey, which Manetric is not going to like, Special War does not like it. He's going to withdraw and send out his Gengar, which Seismic Toss did he use? I, I don't know. I don't know, so whatever, he sends out his Gengar, he uses Brick Break, which is very uncommon on a Gengar, like, very, very uncommon. So, Sludge Bomb here, interesting, interesting, nice, nice, not very effective, so he's gonna um, use the Dragon Claw here, and survives, nice, but why would you use a Psychic, why wouldn't you use a Shadow Ball, it's Stab and wouldn't have done more damage, but eh, you do whatever the hell you want, he's gonna use the Dragon Claw and take out the guy's Gengar, so, I don't know who's winning at this stage. Next Pokemon is going to be Frostlass. Frostlass, I love this thing. It's pretty cool. Why don't I use one? I don't know. Um, he's going to use Ice Beam. Obvious prediction there. Straight to um, Blissey. He's going to withdraw his Frostlass because Frostlass can't do shit. And see now he's Manetric. Okay, let's see what happens here. It's top sick. Oh, I see. It might have Focus Sash or something. I don't know. So probably doesn't want to get top sick or anything. Um, all right. Let's see what happens here. <laughs> a lot of statuses being like leftovers, poisons, and all that crap. Flamethrower, that's not going to do much to him. And the Seismic Toxie is going to do a nice 100 HP of damage. Get some left, he's going to lose, I think, more now because of um, the Toxic. Well, he's got, not going to like it, so he's going to have to withdraw his uh, his, uh, his Manetric and send another Sableye, which is a good prediction there because now he can use the Taunt. Now, I, w I would double switch here. From that thing to something else. So he's gonna send out his Ambipom, and that was so obvious he should have switched out, but whatever. And that Ambipom's gonna hang out there all he likes. He's gonna withdraw and send out his Frost Slash, and uh, I guess, yeah, that yeah, that's a good play actually. Good play, because if that Sableye was gone, that would have been bad. So next he's gonna send out his 
Plissy again. It's good Witcher when you can send out Sable Eyes, isn't it? No, no Manetric. That was my guess, but... And use the top. It's a great prediction there. Great prediction that for the guy. And he's probably going to use Topsic again. I I'm going to guess that. Topsic, Electro Ball. Electro Ball won't do that much. Yeah, I was... It's not, he has no reason to swap moves, really. He can just keep toxicing tox and um, have the upper hand on this battle right now. So, withdrawing his Manetric and sending out Sable. Ooh, I, I, okay. That was a bad play from the um, first player here. I, I could have kept using for Topsic, but whatever. So next, he's going to send out his Gut Chomping. Yeah, Torn, that, that, that was obvious. You should have used Topsic or will or wisp or something. It's too late now. It's too late. It's, it's, it's going to kill it, but it should have done it before. Whatever. So, um, Sableye is now down, and this guy's stuffed. Uh, unless he has some other Pokemon I haven't seen, he's, this guy's stuffed. So he's going to send out his Brust Slash, Withdraw, and send out his Blissey once again. Blissey is going to wall this guy to hell. He's going to use Ice Beam and take it. Blissey's going to take it so easily. It's like ridiculous how good this thing is. And the Ice Beam, ooh, it freezes it, wow, freeze hacks. I got lucky there, making the battle slightly longer. Peach is attacking the screen right now. <laughs> Ice Beam again, really, oh, forward out first turn, that's that's all right for him. And gets poisoned, the Frost Slash is now poisoned, and is that good? Well, not for Frost Slash, but I don't know how many Pokemon he has left. No, he's going to top score this guy, so he's, he's stuffed. He should just morph it right now, really. If he doesn't have any physical sweepers, hey Pichu. And, um... Alright, third Ice Beam. Or fourth Ice Beam. Yeah, he's just going to top stall here. He's got no reason to switch out, no reason to do anything. Ice Beam again, he's going to... Yeah, Ice Beam again. Critical hit. That's alright for him, but he's going to use the Wish, which unfortunately... It's gonna suck for that Frost Slash, because Frost Slash couldn't touch this, um, Blissey. Unfortunately, he forfeits the battle, and that is the end. So, ah, music was, uh, that Pokemon Dash game. By the way, Blue, Blue Race or some rubbish like that? Yeah. So, I'll catch you in the end credits. Hey, Lube, well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another end credit thingy where we talk about shit. <laughs> Uh, I was actually gonna have a shower, record this like tomorrow or some other day like that, but then it, my uh, my video editor actually went really fast for some reason. I expected it to render in like about 20 minutes and I will just do some work and get it over and done with. Um, but no, we finished in like 5 minutes and I'm like, oh, oh, okay. Uh, that I can't enjoy myself in the shower. I love relaxing in the shower, just leaving the hot water on, just pretending it's a spa and just relaxing in the shower. But that was not the case because this video rendered very, very fast. But anyway, enough of my crap. On the left here, you can see my present video where we uh, presently do some stuff with my last video. That probably did not make any sense, but you know, shit happens. So, um, yeah, sixth generation, last video was sixth generation battle. And on the right, I'll refer you to my third ever Wi Fi battle that I uploaded. I never narrated it unfortunately no fortunately i didn't narrate because that was horrible and yes oh what the hell is using a ground you cheap bastard ah uh, yes so if you want to check that out go ahead go and check that out and if you like if you like the video please like it follow me on twitter at mip underscore six for seven like me on facebook on ah because that peach is angry i i can't yell people are sleeping people are sleeping i can't just yell randomly and yeah, that's it. And I'll catch you on the next video. So until then, see ya.